Moving on to into the southern front at the curtain front, uh, we have a uh, dual location of uh, Ukrainian forces over at the uh, south of this Antonovsky uh, railway bridge. But this is actually this dual location is not good news for the pro-Ukrainians. Uh, this is actually a, a TOS one A strike, a shelling on the Ukrainians. The flamethrower system fired on uh, the Ukrainian forces over at this bridge area, and. Um, so likely anyone around this area is now all dead so uh, hopefully they are actually run over here uh they were actually hiding over here and uh very few casualties over this part if they really want to hold this front line and uh another joe location uh another uh in information uh there is reinforcement at the kozaski island so uh according to Ryba, the pro uh, pro russian source reported that uh more and more forces is now landing into here uh, into the island and they are actually establishing a foothold over on the island of Kozakski. and um this this is reported by Raiba. they say that it's 131st reconnaissance battalion and uh, they were covered by uh mortar mortar crews and uh so and then uh, the there is also landing uh in the north of Pistepne. Pistepne is over here and uh, there is Ukrainian forces landing here. Uh, this is uh, this also an existing uh, beachhead that they actually have, and uh, they continue to land. Uh, this group called Nomandi landed landed there to start uh, to prepare observation poses, uh, to continue to hold this position on the uh, southern bank of the Dnipro River. There is a there is a geolocation. location. Uh, this geolocation, location I call it the geolocation location of airstrike because what is important is that, um this this warehouse over here that the the ukrainians are using got struck by a fat 500. um what is the significance of the this position getting struck by the airstrike of this five 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 uh fat 500 or fat 1005 is that we haven't actually seen the russians using the uh bombers in this area here they haven't really fly to this area to you know drop bombs in the frontline positions for some time due to the existence of ukrainian surface to air missile the the fact that they are now back again to, to drop airstrikes suggests that the surface to air missile systems in this area has been neutralized so this is the significance of this you no know, uh airstrike that we are seeing on the uh, eastern part of antonovska um, and then there is also further information or uh, intelligence suggests from raiba uh suggests that uh, the large uh, concentration of manpower and equipments are at Davidiv Brit. Uh, this convoy was spotted at Davidiv Brit, and uh, the the military equipment tends to be mostly light armor. And uh, this is probably a force that the Ukrainians are currently preparing to be sent over and to be sent on the amphibious operation over on the southern bank. Uh, Raiba noted that the light vehicles are able to move on soft ground better so this is probably the choice over further up north uh, at Krivi Ray uh, there is this viral video that I did post on the DPA War channel uh, where the Lancet uh, suicide drone was used on the Ukrainian MiG-29 that was uh, sitting over here and uh, the the drone basically somewhat missed the target uh, did not did not have a direct hit but it does hit the tarmac and uh, probably still damage the mig-29 and uh, this is very important uh in the sense that the lancet are not known to uh, be used this far out uh the the distance between this to the front line is actually 70 or over 70 kilometers so 70 to 80 kilometers is pretty far a distance for a lancet uh lancet um is possible to go up to 100 kilometers but you know usually they are not used in that way because they are hover or loitering munition uh, so you no know, their fuel might not be able to last 100 kilometers but this is pretty deliberate and it actually hit the target on top of that the the video also suggests that there's a secondary drone there's actually another russian drone that is flying overhead that is monitoring and capturing the footage of this attack which means that the the ukrainians actually have no means to even shoot down this surveillance drone that was flying also 70 kilometers away from from the front line and um so this must be very disturbing for the ukrainian side because uh the russians can now uh basically operate at at will up to 70 kilometers from the front line and monitor everything using surveillance drones and actually send lancet to take out 
any targets that they can spot. So this is actually a, a huge development, I would say. Uh, it's not. It's just as big as the 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 introduction of Beraktar TB tools uh, for the Ukrainian side, where that creates a strategic problem for the Russian side. Game changer. I'm not sure, but you know, uh, it does show that there is a. Uh, no uh, additional consideration for the Ukrainian side to think about. Over at the Zaporizhia. Uh